So I'm working on Ireland's mansion at the moment in the high street um, and um, it's quite a, a, a fantastic building really. Um, symmetrical um, with um, a recessed middle and then um, square bays and then octagonal bays or half octagonal bays and each of them grows bigger as it gets taller. An absolute forest of timber um, and then with these um, wonderful barley twist carvings uh, little, little columns on the face of the um, of the story posts at the corners. Um, <clears throat> the windows have been have, have probably been changed since it was it was first built but they still look like quite early sash windows so it's um, probably to get more light in from the um, the originals were probably mullioned windows. What I'm doing now is working along doing the shop fronts and I've just come to one of the entrances at ground floor um, which is a, a rather nice arched Tudor looking door um, and I'm going to start adding some colour to that. Get a light shade of of grey. And then we'll work into it with a darker, darker shadow afterwards. And then here the um, Bressima beams casting a shadow to that line, so the dark painted timber gets really dark at that point. And the uh, white panels show up as, oh, I'll really go down to a grey. So you can see those, the grey squares now, are the, oh, are the render panels in shadow. A bit of shadow under that. We've got the gothic arch over the door and then the porch. The door is actually recessed a long way back. Porch. So I'm picking up some, giving the door a little bit of colour, but it's mostly going to be in shadow. But some of the colour will show shoot through the shadow. Just start by cross hatching. So the shadow's coming, just leaving a little bit of the door in light. showing through as well but again they're going to be difficult to see when the, the shadows built up. Just keep working away to bring out the arch. Then the nice little sculptural decoration in the spandrels. Grab 
actually working it down. 